Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palneepan Manikam. In our channel, we have been talking about reducing belly fat and the first and foremost step is to eat between sunrise to sunset as much as possible. So we have talked about this at length in the previous video. Close to 1 million people have seen that video because everybody has this problem. If you can stick to this concept religiously, daily, on a consistent basis, you will not need any other method at all. But if you are stuck and if you're not achieving any results, all these small steps that we are going to discuss in the future series of videos, it's going to help you achieve your results faster. So it's like an arranged marriage. Astrology has to match first. Only then education, money, whether the bridegroom has hair or not, all these helps. But most important thing is the astrology. In this video, we're going to talk about the one most important thing you should avoid completely during the eating period. Let's dive deep into it. So we're going to talk about soda, cold drinks or cool drinks, whatever you can call. Bottom line is the sugary drinks. When I first came to United States, they asked me, do you want to drink soda? I'm like, I will not drink any alcohol because the only soda I know is the soda that you mix in alcohol. Then I only realized that in this country, Coke, Pepsi and Fanta is called a soda. body soda goli soda Now I'm asking other people, do you want soda? When I grew up, my favorite cool drink is Fanta. Little did I know that it will make me a Santa later. People drink soda more than the taste because of the availability, convenience. It is everywhere. Vending machines, grocery store, even an ICU patient waiting room. Day. That was the main reason that the patient was in ICU in the first place, right? Utta, they will replace the glucose bottle with the cool drink bottle. Huh? This cool drink bottle company, the motto is grab and go, right? It is grabbing one person's life and going to the next person to grab the other person's life. Huh? It is like Lord Yama drinking the soda and then saying Miranda. So let's see how these sodas and cool drinks are actually killing you, right? So when you drink the soda or a cool drink, within 20 minutes of drinking this, because of the high sugar content, it stimulates your pancreas to secrete this hormone called insulin. You guys know about insulin based on the previous video. So insulin converts all the sugar into energy, thinking that you're going to work out or doing some kind of activity to spend this energy. But unfortunately, it doesn't know that you're going to drink one more can of soda. Uh, all this extra energy gets converted into fat deposited in your belly thinking that you will need that in future. I feel so bad for this hormone called insulin. It is thinking that we'll be using this energy in future. Let me explain to you how this works. Like let's say an average person requires 2000 calories to maintain the normal body weight. Out of this 2000 calories, 200 grams is the only allowance for carbohydrates or sugar. So with our carbohydrate rich diet, especially in South India, including our dosa, idli, pongal, rice, roti, dal, all will give you carbohydrates. Actually, on an average, you will be taking normally 200 grams easily. So we don't have that much room to accommodate for extra sugar or extra carbohydrates because those excess calories will be converted into belly fat, especially for South Indians. Did you guys know that one can of Coke gives you 40 grams of sugar in that particular instance? Your body is telling the cool rings that, hey, stay away from me. I don't have enough space for you. But the Coke is telling the body that, hey, that's okay. I will travel along with you like as if traveling in an unreserved compartment. And the unreserved compartment is right here. When you really want to decrease belly fat, the first thing that you need to do is to avoid carbs as much as possible. I'm not saying that healthy carbs like idli, dosa, um, dal are unhealthy. They are healthy but in limited quantities. So limiting those foods can be difficult initially because we have been born and brought up with these foods. It is completely okay. But you have to avoid any kind of extra additional sugary drinks. At least my audience should completely avoid Coke, Pepsi or Fanta. My friend Sarano Kumar is like, I only drink thumbs up, da, so it is not a problem. He drink thumbs up, his belly is also up. In all these advertisements, at least Mountain Dew has at least some truth to it because the hero climbs up all these mountains and then drinks Mountain Dew at the end of the strenuous exercise. My friend Sarana Kumar is like, only if you drink a cool drink at the end of a big meal, it sounds like a well-rounded meal. Ra. I told him that that is why you are well-rounded. He was like, I don't drink regular soda, da. I only drink diet soda. That is even worse. 
Diet soda is the biggest misnomer in my life. It has nothing to do with diet. It is exactly similar to my patient whose name is Arokya Sami, where all the organs are damaged. I'm very impressed by the marketing technique of these companies by introducing the word diet in this soda bottle, but it is 10 times more worse than the regular soda. These diet sodas are so tasty because of the artificial sweetness and this is more harmful than actual regular sugar. So hear me out here. So when you drink regular soda, the sugar molecules stimulate the insulin. Insulin digests the sugar molecules. It has something to do. But when you drink diet soda, the artificial sweetness tricks your brain that there is actually sugar molecules when there is nothing and it stimulates the insulin regardless. So if you keep doing this, insulin will be dancing like a dancing rose in your body ready to fight and you keep on fooling insulin and one point of time when the actual fighter Kabilan comes to box, the dancing rose insulin will die down. This is what we call as insulin resistance. There are a lot of insulin in your body, but it is good for nothing. Artificial sweetness are like the kids who ring the neighbor's doorbell and run away before they open and the neighbors will be standing clueless like the insulin. Insulin is actually a very, very good hormone, very effective hormone. It prevents you from heart attack. It prevents you from stroke. But what happens in insulin resistance is you have so much amount of insulin, but poor quality insulin. That is why it is absolutely important to stop this behavior. So there have been multiple research that shows that compared to the regular soda, people who are drinking diet soda are at increased risk of depression, heart disease and stroke. That doesn't mean that regular soda or cool drink is good. It causes metabolic syndrome. In addition to metabolic syndrome, it also causes kidney stones. My friend Saravna Kumar is like, Day, you are jealous that I will get a kidney diamond stone. Day, kidney is not a blouse that you do embroidery with stones, da. If you're serious about decreasing belly fat, I want you to do three things. Number one, stop soda. Number two, stop cool drinks. Number three, stop cold drinks, right? So you might think that all these cool drinks are actually cooling down the body. It is actually raising up the heat inside your body by causing so much inflammation. My friend Saravna Kumar is like, thank God I listened to you. Hereafter, I will not mix soda in my alcohol. I will just use only water. It is almost mind boggling that in our Indian culture, smoking and drinking alcohol is considered as a big taboo, but drinking cool drinks is actually a cool thing to do. So when I say cool drinks, it is not only the carbonated beverages like Coke, Pepsi, Fanta, Miranda, Thumbs Up. It is also these pocketed, boxed fruit juices like fruity with excess sugar as well. If you want to drink something, just drink water. If you want to have some flavor, fresh fruit juices are the way to go. In my opinion, drinking cool drinks should be considered as a big taboo. When the bride asks the bridegroom, do you smoke? Do you drink alcohol? He should also ask, do you drink cool drinks? So these days, there are so much heart attacks between 35 to 45 years of age. And it all boils down to this insulin resistance. And the number one problem for this is not paying attention to all these small, small things that we could easily avoid. So after hearing this, my friend Saran Kumar is like, I'm going to buy one bottle of Coke every month and drink it and then replace that with water inside the Coke bottle so that I will have the satisfaction of drinking Coke, but actually drinking water. So things to be done. Number one, we usually have tendency to drink soda or cool drink after a heavy meal. That is the worst time to actually drink. So please do not drink soda or cool drink after a heavy meal. Actually do not drink soda or cool drink ever. And number two, please don't fall under this misconception of diet soda that is good for nothing. Number three is if you're going for a party, marriage function or any other function, if they are offering you a soda or cool drink, please opt for water. This is one simple step that you can easily do to improve your health. And number four, you be the change. You change other person's habits. You know, you don't give cold drinks to them when they come to your home. You don't have cold drinks or soda in your function. You know, we need to change as a community and we should avoid all these carbonated drinks and sugary drinks, including fruit juices like fruity. I'm very curious to know two questions. Number one, how many sugary drinks are you drinking every week? Number two, can you stop this habit? And if not, what is the main reason? Please write down in the comment section. All these soda companies are like, we are refreshing the world. We are making a difference. Actually, they are refreshing the population and making a difference in the population count. So don't eat anything after 7 p.m. Don't look into your phone 30 minutes before you go to bed. Don't drink soda or cool drinks. One belly at a time. It is absolutely important. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.